Matt, a well earned win and a clean sheet, you must be pleased. Yep, you, you just said it there, another clean sheet, that's, that's three out of four. Um, a bit's been made in, in the last couple of weeks of our, our, our failure to score. Um, and fitting the opposition goal, oh, we are creating chances. We are. Um, it's just that little bit of end product and maybe a little bit of composure and confidence at the last moment. And you know, you expect to win a game like that when you're as dominant as we were um, for large periods and creating good enough chances. And the penalty showed probably our lack of confidence. But Jono was on the back of scoring one at Swindon. It's been a bit of our Achilles heel this season. Um, I'm not sure there's many seasons gone where you miss so many penalties, but it's something we'll look at and maybe someone will step up again or we back Jono. But um, delighted to get the goal. We, we deserved that little bit of luck. I'm, look, it was a bit of a deflection, but we had the disallowed one in the, um, in the first half and it, it's been building and building. Look, you could sense a little bit of anxiety and a, and a touch of frustration from the fans, but they've got to stick with it. They've got to be patient and I, I plead with them to be patient because his team's doing everything they possibly can. Um, and I've just said to the group that the amount of times I've stood in front of them and said about cheap goals and, and conceding too many goals because it's such a difficult thing to do to score a goal. Look, we, we, we've kept three clean sheets out of four and then that back line is, and, and Christy and, and the rest of the group have been excellent in, in the roles they've played in that. Dean Moxie is really leading that, that group at the moment. It's so, so important. Look, it only takes one goal to win a game. If we've won a game in the first half of the season, we've generally had to score more than one. Um, so it shows you where we're at, slightly a team in tran transition, but I couldn't fault them today. You know, we had every element in terms of the weather, wind, rain, sun, the, the whole lot um, rolled into one, pitch difficult at times and a, a opposition on the back of three good wins, so a confident team, we limited them to, to one chance where Pimmy's come out in the first half, um, so look, I can't, can't hide how, how pleased them that, but it's, it's three points at the end of the day, we won't get too carried away and now the lads have got to reset and, and focus this week. Hit the crossbar twice. Did you start to think it could be one of those days? No, no, I didn't. And, and even in the last couple of weeks, I've not felt like that. Look, I know what, what tight games League Two football is all about. You, you get in the winter months and the pitches aren't quite quite the way they have been. Um, and look, let's make no bonkers about it. We've got a couple of serious players in the stands as well. Plus, we sold our leading goal scorer. So I think we're doing pretty well at the moment. Uh, we're competing. There was a, a real desire and honesty which I like today, which I think came off the back of Newport. A lot of was made of that performance in terms of not creating chances, but we rolled up our sleeves and, and really attacked that game at Newport, stood up to them physically, and we had that in our game today. Um, but come the last 15 or 20 minutes there, I was, I was pushing and believing we were going to get an opportunity. Like I say, a little bit of luck, but I'm sure we deserve that. The first half very much in control, you must have been really, really happy at half time. Really. Yeah, but we, we said that a couple of times in, in the last month as well. Um, we start games well at the park, we, we get momentum and we get on the front foot and we threaten their goal time and time again. Um, I've not seen the, the disallowed one back, so I'm not sure if it was offside or not, but we hit the crossbar um, and balls are bouncing around dangerous areas. We wanted to put their back four and, and goalkeeper under pressure, as we do any team which comes to the park. Um, whether it's in the first minute or the, what minute was it in the 80th minute today? 80 second minute. There's, there's no better time to score than, than late on in the game. But like I said, we've all got to stick to the processes and not get, get too worried about not scoring early. Game, games of football are like that. Um, but three, three valuable points and it is on to the next. Did you have a view of Kane Wilson's yellow card when he drove into the box? It did look a bit harsh. It, it did. I um, have not spoke to him. Um, not too many complaints from the rest of the group which might tell you it might have been a dive. Look, Kane's an honest lad um, and I was pleased with his display today. Look, I know he's not a left back but he gave us energy, he takes us up the pitch in terms of carrying with the ball. So we know we've got to do slightly different tweaks to our team to help to create chances and, and hurt the opposition. Plus, when they broke, they are a physical threat and, and Kane defended fantastically well. So, look, pleased with that. I'll, I'll talk to, if it was a dive, I'll talk to him because I don't want my players doing that. Um, but the, the penalty, I'm not sure if the, the header was going in. The referee said it wasn't, so that's why he didn't book the lad. But those, those are big, big moments, set pieces. Uh, important. We spoke about a disallowed goal. But like I said, I'm, I'm really proud of the group and, and they, they give everything. They do. People don't see it on a daily basis, but they give, give me everything they have. And as a manager, I can always stand there pretty proud of them. And just finally, looking ahead, three points gives a massive boost going to an important period. Yeah, every game is important. I think there's 17 games left, so so many points to play for, and there'll be ups and downs throughout the season. Like I say, people have got to stick together, especially the group first and foremost, and everyone involved with the club and the, and the fans, because those 17 games won't be easy. We won't have 17 games our own way. But we're excited about what to come. We've got nothing to lose. No one expected much of this group at the start of the season, so we, we've, we've put ourselves in a good position. The players have put themselves in a good position. It's on to the next.